Three contestants, three puzzles, three rounds. At the end of each round, the one with the lowest time on that particular puzzle gets to play this game. Basically what you do here is you throw a ball up and you catch it and wherever it lands, that's how much money you win. So we have anywhere from $25 to $1,000 at the end of each round. The winner of that round will compete and will play this game for money. But at the end of all three rounds, we're gonna take the lowest combined score and that person will be crowned puzzle champion and will take home the title belt of the puzzle champ. Let's meet our contestants. Our first contestant, Wes Wesley. Snipes Barker. Wes is actually the original puzzle champ who gave up his title in the last match. Hopefully today, Wes has got his eye on the prize and he wants his title back. So let's see how he does. And contestant number two is Eric Marcotte. Eric is known for creating mobile escapes and bringing them into your house. So this guy knows puzzles. Definitely gonna be a contender and a challenger here today to solve these puzzles. Let's go, Marcotte. And our next and final contestant is the reigning puzzle champion. The runner up in the first season and came home, brought home the title in the second season, ladies and gentlemen, here in his own living room, by the way, Eric LeClaire. The first puzzle here is a Hanayama cast horseshoe. This is a take apart and put together puzzle. A level six, the whole goal is to take off the middle horseshoe from the two linking horseshoes and to replace it after it's done. Wes, you ready? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You're nervous? I'm nervous. <laughs> you can go ahead and see the timer. It doesn't matter if you see it. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what their times are after this. Well, you're the first one anyways. Ready to start? Uh, you can go ahead. You got five minutes maximum. Okay. Five minutes. Is it horseshoes? Yeah. Three horseshoes. And I obviously got to take the horseshoes off. What the actual? You got to take them off and put it back on. Okay. Holy crap. Take your time. So, I'm nervous already. You need to take your time, dude. It's so stressful though. Because... Use your brain. You've never even done this one, I bet. I have. Have you? That's the only one out of the three that I've done, I think. That nub seems to be important. Weird nub at the end. This makes no sense to me. I'm like Alex Boyer right now. Okay, I feel like folding it is a key factor in this one. I don't know why. I'm going to max out this time. I have no... It doesn't have enough moving parts. Oh my goodness. Sorry, this must be painful for people that are like, No, just move the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. That's something. Off. Put it back on. So I messed up last time because I, I panicked when I got it off. Because you got to. Oh, okay. Done. Take that, Eric. And Eric. There's two Eric's. Marcotte. Yes, sir. How you feeling? Nervous. Glad I get a second chance. That's true. Marcotte was actually yeah. on the first season. Yeah. Uh, didn't quite make the cut there. Nope. Ready to see your puzzle? I am. Five minutes. Here it is. Timer starts now. So I need to take it off. And put it back. Okay, think. Okay, plenty of time. Plenty of time. You just imagine all the frustrated people watching this video telling you, hey man, just do it. Oh. A break of the puzzle is an immediate disqualification. Okay. I've been warned. I think it's if I pull it out, I need to remember how. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Oops. <sighs> it's crazy how it just looks completely impossible. Yeah. Are you ready? Feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Puzzle number one. Get going. So you have to take this off? Yeah, take it off and put it back on. How'd the other guys do? I'm not telling. How could this possibly... How can that fit there? Chains are coming off. No forcing, by the way. If you break the puzzle, you're immediately disqualified. No spitting. On my table? On my own table at my own house? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I read all your comments, by the way, guys. They're, and they're hurtful. They were really hurtful. Words hurt, guys. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. Shape. Shape has something to do with it. 129? Okay, I'm feeling good. 129 in. These aren't moving. These are all tied the same way. No, they're not. Yeah, this is round, this is round. So this isn't moving, it's only folding. It's so frustrating to think your fans, like some of your fans know how to solve this and yeah, they're just they're yelling be, at the screen. They're gonna be saying it in the comments for sure. <sighs> Can you do this one, Chris? Yep. This is not gonna work on this one, that's for sure. <sighs> that's for sure. Still be too small.
and put it back. Before we end round one, uh, Wes, how do you think you did? Uh, pretty good. He looked pretty sad. I don't know about Eric. Marcotte, how yeah, do you think you did? You never know, though. <laughs> you never know. He's I, about to Marcotte, how do you it. think you did? Uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, okay. I, I think me and Wes are pretty close. Uh, Wes kind of beat you by a landslide, Wes. On that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Woo! Sorry, I mean, hey, I didn't even solve it. There's two more rounds, don't worry. Congrats, yeah. man. Thanks, buddy. Congrats. Hey, well, I'm happy Again, for it. I'm not giving you guys, you guys individually know your times but I'm not going to give you uh, any of the other people's signs. I don't want that to affect your performance well, you on the next puzzle. You could just be messing with us too. It might only be a couple seconds. A game, so the way this game works is you get you get three chances. First time you get it in a hole, that's gonna be your prize. Yeah, so I get first one, that's yep. my prize. If that's I don't get prize. anything, I don't get anything. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Wes. Here we go. Let's get round two oh, on the way. The second puzzle is the Cast Key 2 by Hanayama, another level six puzzle where both linking keys have to be taken apart with a series of moves and then replaced back to its original state once you're finished. All right, Wes Barker, you're coming off your first round win. How do you feel? Obviously, I'm feeling good, dude. Yeah. I just want to keep focused. I don't want to get cocky. I want to be thousand like, dollars richer. Yeah, that's you, obviously your time's the best so far, so you're in a good position. I'm not celebrating yet. Um, you want you ready to see your second puzzle? Yeah, man. I need to crush this one. See how it's done? Yeah. That's gonna be how you put it back together at the end. Yeah. In three, two, <laughs> one, and go. Man, this is one that's so dumb because it's like one of the ones you're like, oh, this is gonna be easy. Man, there's no parts either. You just slide it. How does this even? Holy smokes. There's like nothing to do. Oh, I see. I don't see, but. Remember, if you break the puzzle or if it comes apart by force, you're automatically disqualified. Yeah, for sure. I can see a little spot where it's gonna slide. Oh. How's that looking, Wes? Man, this is looking bad because I haven't done anything except move this thing around in circles and I don't understand where you'd even gain any, nothing seems to be helpful here. It seemed like something. This is so well made. Zero mistakes, Wes. If I was a puzzle genius. Coming up on four minutes. Oh no, oh, that right there, that that's a, key. Was that a pun? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I'm just that stressed right now. Frick. Frickin' frick frack. I'm so stupid. I, I wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time. Alright. Oh, you gotta come down there. Yeah. Oh. So, one of, so this one's kind of like a labyrinth puzzle oh, where uh, you, you gotta use those little spaces here. Yeah. And that's where you gotta pass things through. Oh, it's so smart. Wes. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Round two, baby. All right, you're coming off a uh, tough round one. Yeah, don't tell them. I won't, I'm not telling them anything. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you how Wes did. This one might come a lot easier to you as it's in the shape of maybe something you might be familiar with. Love it. In the escape room world. Uh -huh. Look look at how it's made. That's how it has to be at the end when you put it back together. You understand? No force. You do not need to force this puzzle whatsoever. So well, these grooves are here for a reason. You got three minutes. Come on. seconds. Four. Oh, no. Two. And time. So the first move here, which you missed, was that. Mm -hmm. But then you kept coming back up. Yeah. See, the idea here would have been to rotate yeah. this. And now you're going to go into your second move. 
which would have been down here. I was there at the end. Yeah, and then you were down here, and then from there, there were other moves to do, but that huh. that is the... Uh, Crazy. Those okay, are the so first two like, steps yeah. that you would have needed. Yeah, yeah. Nice try, Marcotte. <sighs> Eric LeClaire. <sighs> you see how they're linked together? That's how they must be at the end of this puzzle. They must be linked like this, no force required. This can slide down here. Now that I'm out here, is this? Gonna... No, obviously, you can't come out here. Is there a space? I put the space in the space. Come on, come on, Declare. You're at four. There's something. So, you're really close. You got you got to uh, you got to the end part almost really fast, which was here. But you kept coming. You kept wanting to come back up for some reason. This is the next logical location, right? If you look at one of these sides, there are ones thinner than the other. You see that? That would have slipped right through into there, and you would have been, and that would have made you like that would have been close to the end once you got there. Oh, you're not at the end now. No, no, no. Let's try Eric, let's get all the boys here. All right guys, um, so after the second round, the winner is, yeah, it's a tie. Yes! All right. Uh, yes! Woo! Equally dumb! Hey, 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 hey stop! Stop it, stop it together! Eric almost did, and if Eric, like Eric got here super fast. Like he got to, he got to this portion where it comes down here really fast, but he was stuck there. Had he just done this, he would have been here. And then once he was here, I would have gave him the victory because he would have been the closest yeah. to get there. Oh. So he was just a little bit off. I would have gave that to him by default. But because it is a tie, uh, boys, I think we need to solve this with some sort of tiebreaker. Yeah, right. we haven't even discussed boys, it. Here's the game. You get one coin each. Let me see the coin. Coins all the exact same size. Whoever gets it closest with one toss to this bottle. One shot, winner gets to play the ball game. Hi, good luck. You're up, buddy. Huh? Eric, so, you go first. Up first. Yeah, let him throw first. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that was good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Marcotte. Yeah, Marcotte went into the basement. Marcotte's just not your day, buddy. No, it's not. All right, Wes. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, yes. no. oh. And that's Eric. <laughs> All right, Eric, since you won the tiebreaker, you are now in contention for winning up to $1,000. Let's go. Wait, yes! 500! 500? I'll take it! I'll take it! Yes! Yes! Nice. And the final puzzle is the cast key ring by Hanayama, another level six puzzle. Once again, the goal here is to take it apart and to put it back into its original state. Hey, Wes. An uneventful round two, but a really cool tiebreaker. Yeah. Uh, it didn't come through. It's a good puzzle. It's a good puzzle. However, if you guys all tied with five minutes on the second puzzle, that means that you're still in the lead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm in a good spot then. Right, exactly. Ooh, so, so I just don't... So at this point, I mean, if you solve it, there's a really good chance that maybe other people won't solve it, as this is the hardest of the three puzzles. You need to remember how that looks. Okay. And yeah. that's how it has to be. I've never seen anything like this. Go. Oh, what the... Okay, I can see where that's got us. I see, okay. I think I feel like at least I know what's happening this time. Last time I was really not prepared. Oh man, I already can't even get back to the start. This is not gonna be, not gonna be a good life. <laughs> the tricky one? <laughs> yeah, this is, oh, I had such high hopes earlier. Okay, I got one piece through. I mean, I don't know how, where that really gets me. This is something else, Chris. A mind buster. Yeah. And like then having to retrace your steps later. I'm already stressed about putting it back together yeah. and I'm not even gonna get it apart in time. Oh my goodness, dude. 
I'm pretty far along, as you guys can tell. I've, uh, I keep done doing the circles and going back to there, which is fun. This must be painful for you to watch because you're like... I never solved this one particularly, but I'm getting a pretty good idea of what I would need to do, but it's easy for me to say if I'm just watching. Right. That's true. And that, that goes out to all my viewers <laughs> who think this is easy. It's easier when you're watching it and you're not fiddling with it because you have to actually hold it and keep it in a position and keep your eyes on certain things and you don't have a sort of vision of everything together. Yeah, you don't really have the... Yeah. A little distance is always a bit easier in these kinds of things for sure. Okay, I thought I had something. I had nothing. Is that the time? Yep. Well, I'll put it back together for you. Will you? Yeah, I'll put it back together for the next guy. Is that how it started? <sighs> Pretty sure, yeah. yeah. Great. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm not out yet. No, they really have to. They have to choke. They got to. Yeah. They have to choke hard. Marcotti. This is what it looks like, and that's what it has to look like when it's done. So remember that. You can hold it. No forcing on your mark. It's set. Go. So like this. Okay. Oh, let's go. Like this? Yep. Good job, cut. Eric Leclerc, third and final puzzle. You are the current uh, puzzle champ. I will tell you, you are still obviously in contention here. Um, it is up to you to, to do this one final puzzle. Here is your puzzle. It is a take apart and put together puzzle. Look how it's made. On your mark, it's set, go. Do you know how this one works? I have a very good But idea. like when you look at it in my hands, can you tell if I'm close? It's it's hard, huh? It's it's easy for me to say, but I have a very fair idea of how that works. I can probably solve that pretty quickly. Come on, baby, need the puzzle gods. Need the puzzle gods with me on this. So many combinations. Are we gonna get another tie? You think? Are we? No, I'm not tied. No? I'm not tied. Are they tied though? I'm not tied. Okay, but are Wes and Eric? Their times are tied. Can't tell you. There's so many combinations to this. I mean, I mean. What's not going? Why does I want to go there? So after a third round with one of the hardest puzzles that we had to do today, uh, Wes obviously came in third. They both solved it? They both solved it. Oh no. Yeah, and it was close. It was close. Um, Good for you guys. But the winner of this round is Eric Marcut. Yeah! <laughs> oh, nice going. Yeah, just one around. Yeah, oh. for sure. All right, Marcut. All right. You know what that means? I get to swing that ball. Bonus round, let's go. Oh. Come on, Mercati, you got this, buddy. All right. Let's go. $1,000 from our card. Oh. Wait, so we still need to know. Now sit down. Oh, no. Time to tally up the total Wait, time. Wait, do we, I'm sweating more than Wes Barker at You Flash, You Lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh. In third place, we have Eric Marcotte. With a I'm cool with that, I just want $1,000. <laughs> with a time yeah. of 13.56. Yeah. Eric, you want $1,000, not all bad. All right, all right. And so in second place, or do we just go to the first place? You might as well go first place now. Just go to the first I just, place. Wait, am I taking this off? <laughs> uh, the first place winner is... Wes Barker. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Give him my belt back! Woo! Wes Barker with a time of 11.46. Uh, Eric with a time of 12.49, so Whoa. there's a minute difference there. Uh, so you really so Wes really, West took it home with a minute 49 in the first round. Wow. And that's what saved him because he messed the other two rounds up. <laughs> no way. Oh, this is intense. 
And as your bonus victory round, Wes, you get one more shot at the oh. game. Right, as the as the <laughs> former Undisputed Puzzle champ, you get a free cleaning oh, with us, What a good sir. sport. Yeah. Eric, you're such a good sport, man. Thanks, good pleasure. to have this belt back. Thanks, brother. That's nice great. Too. Congrats, bud. The two time. Big toss. That's all the time we have today. Hope you guys enjoyed this third installment of uh, Puzzle Championships. Wes being the undisputed champ once again. Uh, two out of three times, Wes. Marcotte, not there quite yet. Maybe next time. Eric, close runner up. Guys, uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Enchanté.